I'm going to quickly go over a few of the most common parts to replace on these tabletop folder inserters. The most common parts that you can replace to really make the machine work a lot better and the parts that, uh, that tend to wear out. So first of all, we have the uh, paper feed wheels and separation wheels in here. So we have the two outside pull tires and inside there's an upper and a lower separation wheel. So replacing those will eliminate uh, double sheet problems and jams or if the machine stops and thinks it's out of paper even though it's not, uh, those are the parts to replace. So there's four pieces for each paper tray uh, and we sell those as a set. So there's, like I said, four pieces for each paper tray, four rubber tires. There's an upper, lower, and the two outside ones. Uh, next is uh, down here, this is the collator section, and there are three yellow belts in this section, and they tend to wear out when the machine gets older, and when they wear out, they, they will sag. So if, if your belts are hanging down like this, they're going to cause problems in the collator area. So you want the belts to be nice and tight like these. So if those wear out, uh, those are a common part to replace. Now those are kind of hard to replace. It's not an easy job. You have to take uh, a lot of things apart to get them out. Uh, the feed wheels are pretty easy. You do have to take the covers off to do those. So uh, next, we'll look at the envelope feed into the machine. Now over here, uh, these little uh, tires on the square rollers will sometimes get get really sticky and just kind of dissolve and fall off. So those can be replaced and sometimes but not as often the, the center wheel will, will need to be replaced. So those are um, definitely parts that, that can make a difference once they wear out and if you replace those you'll get the machine feeding envelopes in better. And uh, I just have a, f a few more parts to show inside of here. So these here are the lower insert rollers. These two very small white rollers down here. And they can eventually get where they're concave in the middle just from the roller above that's rolling against them and that will cause problems with inserting where the paper gets inserted into the envelope so replacing those is pretty easy so that makes a difference and then at the same time you'll want to replace these two rollers which are the ones that do the inserting right above these two lower insert rollers. So these two here are the ones that make the biggest difference on making the machine run better for where it's inserting the the folded set into the envelope. Uh, these other rollers aren't as big of a deal uh, but they could be replaced from time to time as well as like all the ones inside but but really they're not going to make that much difference. Replacing these two right here is what's going to make the difference. And they're pretty easy to replace also. If you are also using this machine to seal your envelopes shut after inserting them, then another common part you'll need is the brushes and cloth. This is the, the moistening cloth and the brushes are up here. And uh, we, we sell a set of those as well that includes the three brushes and a new cloth. So that's also a common part that we sell a lot of. So uh, all these parts that I talked about are available on our website cleanmachinemailing.com and if you have a different model and have questions about that one uh, you can email us and we'll be glad to help. Thanks.